sometimes it's weird being in here alone because um i feel like it's haunted Ooh, what's up family welcome to another video thank you so much for clicking on the video today we're spending some time in the shop my staff is off so i am working contrary to what you guys believe i am not an absentee owner <laughs> don't ask my staff that don't tell them i said that but yeah today we're working um it's actually about 5 45 and the shop is open till 10 so hang out with me a little bit right so yeah when i come in usually the first thing that i want to do is like make sure like the money is right so we have a cash drop and i pull all the money from the cash drop and then what i do and this is really really helpful I think I've talked about this in other videos, um, is this standard operating procedure sheet. Let me get a fresh one. I just printed out a bunch of fresh ones. So these are the SOPs right here, right? And let me focus in on it. So they're standard operating procedures. It's probably backwards. But what this is, it has um, like a to-do list for the opening shift and the closing shift. and it basically outlines everything that at a minimum at a minimum okay that i expect my employees to do when they work and this keeps it very clear the things that i need done during the course of a shift right so i mean sometimes it seems a little bit rudimentary or a little bit i don't know anal but i feel like the employees appreciate it because you know I, they know what the expectations are at a bare minimum they know that if they do these things i will be happy but part of it is making sure that the cash balance in the register is good in the morning i want a report of what we opened at what we closed at cash drops um credit cards i want to know all of that like what you know what i'm expecting so when i go to reconcile all the money at the end of the day even with my clover system um, I want the employees to actually give me numbers as well. That way I can know um, when I look at my accounting from the system that everything is driving together. You, you feel me? Okay. Um, so this is what I go by. Obviously I have a stack of them that are filled out and I'm gonna go through these and reconcile it with the cash drops and then put it in an Excel sheet just so I have my accounting records for myself. Obviously I could print them out from the system and you're gonna wanna do that but um i like to have my shit on lock as well anyway sometimes it's weird being in here alone because um i feel like it's haunted i feel like it's haunted because sometimes in the roof like i gotta show this to you so one time it was raining really bad and <laughs> the roof had a leak so let me show you i still never it's gonna be raggedy please excuse it but look at the roof like we we're missing a tile there and you could see in the roof like where it was rusted i guess there was like a leak before and i don't know if it was ever fixed or whatever it's not like it anymore but i just never replaced the tile because these are like fancy tiles and you know i don't know where to get them if you know where i can get these tiles please let me know so i can put in an order because that hole looks super 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 um not it it's giving very much raggedy vibes okay so i'm going to quickly show you guys my cash log so i keep it on a shared drive um in google just so that i always have it heaven forbid you know um i don't something happens to the computer you just never know what could happen you guys know i am super anal about stuff like that and i um i like to make sure that everything is backed up to where it needs to be my bad i had a customer come in so like i was saying the i use a, a shared excel sheet and i keep it on my shared drive so that way if anything happens to the computer anything happens i can always um go back to the shared drive it's backed up so i copied and pasted um well i copied um one of my old sheets and i'm gonna paste it here and hopefully it'll paste maybe not oh there we go so I'm gonna blur out the numbers because I obviously I don't want you guys knowing my business like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and all the formulas are already in, so I'm gonna go ahead and clear out the entire sheet. I'm gonna delete all the values and then I'm gonna go ahead and delete um, 
all the fills so that it's completely empty. And then, so you could see that I have, oh shit. Acha, I don't know what's going on here. So I have the date, I have my cash at open, I have my cash at close, the balance of the drawer, my expected deposit, any notes, my expected um, credit card deposits, my gross sales, my discounts, and um, all the net that I made with tax included because I have to keep my taxes aside, right? And then there's some other formulas um, that I use for accounting purposes monthly. If you guys, I mean, it's detailed. So if you guys want a video on that, leave a comment below and I can always do that. But let me um, see if I can set you guys up so you can see um, the rest of the shit. Cha, I don't even know. I can't set it up. So what I do is I start at the first of the month. And like I said, these, um, these cells are kind of like already formatted. So once I put in the first of the month, I can drag it down and it will automatically fill the rest of the days of the month. So I drag it all the way down and um, till it reaches the end of the month. So we don't need December, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, go ahead, bomb. I'm trying to like, I'm not dumb guys, I'm trying to like hold the camera <laughs> and do this at the same time. So then we're closed on Sunday, so what I like to do is um, just gray out Sunday on the sheet just to make sure, you know, I'm not populating anything in there. I just gray it out and I do that for all the Sundays. So now we've got all of our Sundays already grayed out. What I'm gonna try to do is freeze that first pane. So the way that I did it is I went to view, went to freeze, and then I did um, the first row, okay? And that'll freeze the first row, so that way when you're scrolling and you're entering your data, you're not losing you know, where you are. So you always know what the values are. So that's set up, and now I'm gonna go ahead and put in all of the information that I need to put in for whatever weeks I'm working on and update everything for November because y'all been having me real busy on the legal side, so I do have some to catch up with, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put those in, okay? Oh my god, I literally lost track of time. I forgot about y'all. So I finished all of the, the book stuff and I'm having something to eat because I'm so hungry. Mm. We had a couple customers. I don't wanna talk to y'all with my mouth full. But we had a couple customers, so I got pretty busy. Sold a couple things, you know what I'm saying? But it's starting to get a little quiet. Um, usually, around this time, we've got this restaurant next door called Bojio Latin Flavors. It's like a Dominican spot. And um, on Saturday nights, they usually have like a party. And um, they get pretty live, so they have like a DJ, whatever. Usually I make friends with everybody over there. Um, but I think they got a new DJ, so I'm not completely sure. But anyway, they usually come over here and they buy hookah stuff and whatnot. Um, but I have some downtime. I think somebody's pulling up now. Looks like my car. So yeah, Bohio usually has a party on Saturdays. They have one, I think, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But I think the Friday and the Saturday nights are like the most live nights, but yeah. I think you can hear their music actually. They bass so loud sometimes that it like knocks some of the <laughs> hookahs like really, really close to the edge. There's this car out there. 
They've got their lights like right directly into the shop and they're just sitting in the car. It's not raining anymore, but they've got the windshield wipers on. I don't know what they're doing. So, um, I was thinking about doing a little bit of legal work while I'm here, but it's Saturday night, guys, and I've been working all week, and I don't want to. But yeah, I should do some work. I really should, because that way, like, by next week, because next week is the holiday, and I'm closed, my office is closed, the smoke shop is closed, half the day on Wednesday and the entire day on Thursday. That's the other thing, like holidays, I don't, even though like I feel like you should be open on some of the major holidays and I try to stay open like New Year's, um, like a Labor Day, Memorial Day weekend, the big party weekends, I try to stay open. But like Thanksgiving, I feel like it's a family day and I know people are gonna be smoking, you know, you and your cousins gotta go for that walk before dinner but you know i don't expect my employees to be here to give up their thanksgiving with their family to be in the shop so people could get their stuff i'd rather just close and let everybody enjoy the holiday so um i say all that to say that i should be doing some work to like catch up on everything shop wise and um legal work wise but i don't know i think ethan and my husband are gonna pull up matter of fact i think they're pulling up now and we should have some dinner together that's another video that i kind of want to do um just like balance like work life uh family life mom life everything life running multiple businesses like i run two service-based businesses um i run a virtual business like an e-commerce business and then i also have the smoke shop which is a brick and mortar retail as you know and it's a lot to balance everything so i kind of want to do a video about that um trying to like you know because i do feel guilty sometimes um you know working so much like even though ethan is with me so much he's with me all the time he like literally knows so much about the businesses he'd probably make a better hookah than 90 percent of the people that i know literally and i know <laughs> that sounds terrible but he's just exposed to so much at such a young age that he like he just knows stuff that you would be surprised a six-year-old would know hello Hey guys so it's the end of the day it's about 9 15 or so i'm taking out my hair because my head's hurting oh child <laughs> lord give me faith excuse the raggediness um so yeah it's about that time to start getting ready to close up the shop what i normally do around this time and what's on the sop i hope you guys can hear me because the shop the restaurant next door is like they're bumping bumping they're having like all the old ladies are out here yeah. dressed up yeah i can hear it all the old ladies here are dressed up they got on their little kitten heels and their little saturday night outfit they came out to bohio to vamos a bailar or whatever they came out here to dance but um so yeah so i'm gonna count up the register reconcile the till do all the paperwork and then we're gonna close up shop the hubby is sweeping up the shop right now you know he's doing all the hard work because I mean I would sweep but he's here so why not all right so I'm gonna drawer so I printed out my report for the day this is gonna break down all my gross sales my uh, discounts my net 
amount that I collected, the taxes that I have to put aside, um, all my credit card and card transactions. Um, so I print this out as a reference, that's my report. And then what we like to do is we like to keep a certain dollar amount in the till at all times. So that could be $500 for you, it could be $300, it could be $200, whatever works for you in your business, depending on how many cash transactions you do in a day. You know, to go by that, um, we like to keep a certain dollar amount in the till. We don't count like the coins and the change. Like we don't count that. We just count the dollars. So when we close at the night, in the nighttime, at the end of the night, we know what's in here of a round dollar figure. So when we open in the morning, we also open with that figure. So we always know what's in the till. So we know if we have to do other things. You know, obviously do what's best for you, but this is what works for us. Um, it just keeps things nice and neat. And, um, but obviously look at the volume of cash transactions that you're doing in a particular um, week or so or month or so and see what makes the most sense for your business, yeah? All right, so I'm gonna count this up and do my paperwork and we will be closing up the shop shortly it's been a long afternoon it's a long day in here people think that it's just like you're just in here chilling and you are to a certain extent but when i'm here there's so many other things that have to get done um that the, it, first of all the time goes by super super fast like the time goes by super super fast but then you're like exhausted i don't know why i think it's because it's like customers and inventory paperwork and money cleaning and this and that it's a lot of stuff to do when you're by yourself so yeah I was bumping some ratchets um okay so I closed it up I'm on the way home I'm exhausted I really want to like get an elephant ear from the fair it's Broward County Fair it's right there it looks so cute I want to go inside and get elephant ears and like corn dogs whoo chow Lord knows that's the last thing I need to eat at this time of night but I'm tempted. I might hit it up next week. Do you guys do fairs? Like in your um, county for the holidays? Like we always do like youth fair here, Broward County Fair, and then Santa's Enchanted Forest like for um, for like Christmas time. Santa's Enchanted Forest actually opens up in um, during Thanksgiving because it, it's like a ritual. You go like the day after Thanksgiving, like you all your friends, um, and sometimes your family, but it's better to go with your friends and you go walk the, the forest. It's not really a forest. Everything's really like old and raggedy now, but it's fun. Anyway, I'm heading home. I'm gonna take a hot shower and I'm gonna go to bed. So I will catch you guys on the next video. Thanks so much. If you got anything from this video, please go ahead and give it a like. Um, and I would appreciate the support of your subscription. Um, but if not, it's okay. That's cool. I will see you on the next one, guys. Have a good evening, good day. As always, be kind and be great. And I'll catch you later or catch you next time. Whatever. Bye.